What's good, JD fam? Welcome back to another video. If this is your first time ever watching our channel, make sure you press that subscribe button. Currently on my way to my doctor's appointment, and not just any doctor's appointment, but the doctor's appointment. This is a big, long anticipated appointment. I'm really, really nervous about it. I literally just had like a mini anxiety attack. But let me tell you what this appointment is for. So, for one, I am going to be getting my birth control removed today. Woo! That's a big thing that I'm nervous for. I'm probably gonna have cramps and everything. I realized that I talked about this in my last video, but I didn't say what birth control I'm actually on. So I am on the Mirena IUD. So, you know, they have to actually physically go in and take that thing out and you cramp and you bleed and maybe TMI, but I'm not looking forward to it. I know it's very, very uncomfortable. And besides that, another big reason why I scheduled this doctor's appointment is because I've been having a lot of really bad stomach issues for the past couple months. I had like an entire month straight nonstop where I was in really, really, really bad pain in my stomach. I would cramp really bad like every single day, but it, it wasn't cramps like time of the month cramps or those type of cramps. It was a completely different area of my stomach. I had a lot of pain all the time. I'm not gonna get into the other specifics, but I don't know, you guys can use your imagination. <laughs> but I did wanna get that all checked out and make sure everything is good because I just don't think it's normal for me to have been having those stomach issues ongoing every day for over a month straight. So I really don't know what the heck could be going on, but we're gonna find out today I'm gonna get a whole physical get all my drug lawn and all of that and I'm not looking forward to it I'm just being a wimp right now I don't know what it is I haven't been to the doctor in a long time like since since my six-week postpartum I haven't been for myself you know obviously I take COA but it's different the boys sit at home because I don't know how long my appointment is going to be and after I'm planning on going to try on some cowboy boots because we're supposed to be going to the pumpkin patch this week and I want us all to get matching cow are they called cowboy boots yeah they're called cowboy boots <laughs> I don't know my mind I cannot get my mind right let me tell you guys what happened at the gas station this is how you know mentally my mind is just a mess right now so Julius leaves the car on like fully empty like I have to put gas right away so I go to the gas station and first pump I go to is only diesel so I'm like okay great now I have to go to a different pump get back in the car this is a big old truck like it's a lot to get in and out of this thing especially for me I'm only five feet tall like the truck is literally I have to leap in <laughs> so I go to a different pump and I'm on the wrong side of the pump I'm like okay let me just go to a whole different one again on the wrong side of the pump I was at this point I was on the phone with my dad I'm like mommy that's it I'm going back home he's like you better not go back home he's like you've been waiting for this appointment put the gas and just calm down you're gonna be fine so good thing I was on the phone with him because he helped calm me down he also thinks that maybe my stomach issues could be because of my anxiety but I don't know we're gonna see what the doctor has to say about it and I'll update you guys on that but let me focus on getting here because knowing me I will get lost okay I made it here and I'm about to go in before I freak out even more I literally <sighs> just called Julius and had a full-on breakdown like I don't know what the heck is going on with me but I don't want to talk to you guys about it too much because I already know you guys think that I always complain about everything <laughs> I will update you guys after the appointment let's see how it goes fingers crossed everything goes well all right guys so I just finished up with my doctor's appointment and it really wasn't even that bad I was just being dramatic I guess <laughs> sucking myself out in my mind but I did get some blood drawn and we're gonna wait for the results on that tomorrow as for my stomach problems they really just told me to like experiment with cutting certain things out of my diet hopefully I find what the culprit is but one thing I am really really disappointed in is that I was not able to get my IUD removed today so I came to my primary care doctor because when I made the appointment, they said that they would likely be able to take my IUD out. And I know I have gotten it before taken out by my primary care doctor, but this time she said that they had to specifically refer me out to an OBGYN because there's like a specific tool they need that they just don't have in the office. So I have to wait longer, you guys, which is such a pain. Julius is like, see, why would you get on a birth control that is so hard? to get removed you have to go all these roundabout ways wait for people to call you for an appointment just to get it removed it's a mess but hopefully I can get it taken out soon this has been like an ongoing thing you guys I had an appointment like a month or two ago they ended up calling me day of mind you I had to wait weeks for this appointment the day of comes I'm about to go and they call me saying that I needed to call my insurance first and verify that all of this stuff and I'm just like oh my god goodness this is just a mess 
So that is a little update on all that. Right now I just got to Boot Barn. We're gonna try on some cowboy boots and we're gonna get some for Julius and Koa. Hopefully they have some cute ones. I've never even tried on cowboy boots in my life so I'm excited to have a little fashion show. Okay, I'm bringing my whole tripod in this store for you guys and vlogging by myself. This is a big step for me. I'm a little shy. an entire hour trying on a bunch of cowboy boots they had so many options I was overwhelmed when I walked in like that store is huge I told the lady that was checking me out that the store was so much bigger than I thought and she was like you think this is big this is actually a small store she said other stores are like three times the size and have three times the options I was like whoa and who knew that cowboy boots were so expensive I ended up spending $517 for three pairs of boots. Mine and Julius's boots were each 200 and then Koa's were $60. And then I got a little leather buffing cleaning kit thing and that was like 15 bucks, so wow. I'm gonna have to go to a rodeo with these. These are gonna have to get put to use. Yeehaw! <laughs> Back home now, he tried on his boots. They're looking good. They match your skin tone really nice. Woo! I like those. I'm ready to go. What kind of fit are you gonna throw on with Whoa. those? Let go. The go, only horse. thing is, yeah, go, horse. I got Come them on. wide and Come I thought on. they meant like wide right here because he has a wide foot, but I think it meant wide calf because they're kind of big on the calf. You know what it is though? Check the kicks though. Ooh. We ain't really played or we ain't really came here. Let me see a little rodeo yeah. dance. Let me see a little square dance rodeo. Watch out for Coco's feet. <laughs> <laughs> You think we can get him to try him or not yet? He's tired. He, he almost was about to fall asleep. <laughs> I want to try one. Don't make me call Dirty Dan. Lift. Don't make me call Dirty Dan on you, bro. Oh my gosh, these are going to be the cutest things ever. Put your foot in. Woo! You got them boots on, boy. Don't make me call. Don't make me. Okay, I'm going to call Dirty Dan on you. snake in my boot, you know, yeah. some real western now? folks out here, you know how I'm saying, you know, I might just go get me a horse, <laughs> give me one of them little things and you want to see mine? throw it out there, you know, just real one up in here, though, you know, don't make me call the other day on you guys. Mine are cute. Oh. Ah, ah. Woohoo, you like them? Yeah, those are pretty fire. Those look pretty good, though. Woo. Hey, bro. Not gonna lie, I have the appetite of a child, but it's okay because it's my favorite thing and I love snacking. So look, this is what we got right here. Heart white bread right here, first off. Now let me show you guys the expert way of how to actually make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Let me stop playing with you guys. I know a lot of you guys think you guys know what you're doing with a PB&J, but this is really how you do it. So first things first, I like to use white bread because white bread, you know what I'm saying, nice, soft, fluffy. So I saw we put this right here. We got the creamy peanut butter right here. Destiny gets it from Kroger. If it was me, I'm kind of bougie with my peanut butter. I'll go ahead and get the, you know what I'm saying, the bougie one, you know what I'm saying? But hey, next we got the raspberry preserves. I just call it raspberry jam. There's a difference between jam and jelly. I'm a jam type guy. I'm definitely not a jelly type guy. I don't know who is. If you're a jelly type guy, that's fine. I'm a jam type guy. Let me go get my spatula. This is my spatula right here. 
This is the spatula to what you're cooking right here. Me, I'm not a butt type of guy. Well, I am a butt type of guy. I love Destiny. You know, her. she got a big you're badonka a dunk. I'm, yeah, I mean, I love yours. Okay. Your butt type of guy. I'm her butt type of guy. But when it comes to this bread, I'm not a butt type of guy at all. Like, I'm not gonna eat the top at all. Maybe for a toast or something, but make sure you don't grab a lot. I'm not a super extra peanut butter guy. Like, if you've ever had like a school peanut butter and jelly sandwich, it's literally tasting just like peanut butter and it's horrible, horrible. Never, 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 never make something like that. You gotta spread it evenly. Sometimes when Destiny makes me PB&Js, she kind of like makes it like a school teacher, you know, kind of a little bit too much peanut butter. Yeah, I'm just saying, you know, maybe dig in there one more time. But you see, I got a little dab. I didn't get a crazy dab. If it was well, Destiny, she might have got a big gulp. But um, you keep spreading, you know what I'm saying? Well, Destiny knows a lot about spreading. <laughs> so boom, we spread right here. It's a great spread. You know, if you have extra peanut butter, you know, I'm the type to... You know, make sure we don't waste none and put it in there, you know? I like to close everything before I'm done using it or when I'm done using it. You open my raspberry preserves right here and me. This and you cross-contaminate with the boom. peanut butter. What if somebody's no. allergic to nuts? Boom. Nobody nobody else is using it, so boom. Put that much on it. I don't go crazy like, ah, peanut butter That's and jelly. That's a lot of peanut butter. That's perfect. And then I spread, you know what I'm saying? You gotta make sure you spread. If you have jam, which I hope you're using jam, make sure you see no white, but also make sure you see a, not a lot of red. You don't want a lot of red. If you do too much red, it's gonna be too sweet. So boom, this right here purple. is perfect. This right here is perfect. There's a little bit white right here. Get that. There we go, asa. Do it perfectly, boom. You know what I'm saying? Ah. And then me, I'll never eat a sandwich <laughs> like this. Like never, I'll never just, Eat it like this. You have to cut it in half. Boom. Now look. And me, I'm the type to like the extra little jelly and stuff on it. When you cut it. Ah. Now this right here is what you call a PB and J. Look at that. Oh my. Let me take a bite. Let me try. Mm. Let me try a bite. Mm. Let me try a bite. See how she was talking, but she wants to bite it. Because I want to see how good it is. <clears throat> no, that's what you call a PB and J. Yeah, I know. Not your average PB and J. The bread's too thick. It's, oh, here we go. <laughs> your bread's too thick. <laughs> right now, we are going Halloween costume shopping. It's already only like two more weeks to Halloween and none of us have costumes yet So we need to get on it. Hopefully we can still find some good stuff. We are going to spirit Halloween So let's see what we can find and even if we can't find anything at least we'll get some inspo Babe, what do you want to be for Halloween? Whatever you want to be. We got to be something that cor correlates. Should we all be scary people like you can be Michael Myers, Coco can be Chucky and I can be Freddy Krueger? Yep. Yeah? Or do you want to do something like wholesome and family? Let's go see what they have inside. <laughs> Except mine, I still have to order mine online. So we decided to be Beetlejuice. So Jaleesa is gonna be this guy, the Beetlejuice wedding guy. Koa is gonna be the little actual Beetlejuice guy. And then I'm gonna be Lydia, the bride. I'm not gonna lie, I've never even seen Beetlejuice, but I think they're really cool costumes. And I think tonight we're gonna watch Beetlejuice. Like it's only right. We can't be Beetlejuice if we've never seen the movie. What? You open the milk gun. What are you talking about? What? <laughs> Why do you have to do things like that? Well, I don't know what's going Why on. Why did you steal the candy? Why did you steal the candy? Something That's why I hid it from you because I knew you were- A little bit stuck in my teeth, a little bit. I got some oh milk duds. I got some milk duds stuck in my yeah, teeth right now. You. Destiny left the candy out and I've been craving candy for the past 24 hours because I don't know what it is, but I've just been craving candy. But tonight we're gonna be chilling, relaxing. We got some football games on. 
Also, me, I'm just a big sports fanatics fan. I love sports gambling and all that stuff. So tonight we got WNBA Finals, which is, you know what I'm saying? It's pretty dope, you know what I'm saying? The girls basketball, they putting on a show. I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually a big fan. But we just gonna vibe out, relax, chill today. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. We'll see you guys in our next video. Peace.